Now let's see if we can approximate for the following area. The area of a dollar bill is approximately, and we have four choices, 10 square centimeters, 100 square centimeters, 1,000 square centimeters, or one square meter. Well, we can probably eliminate a few of these right off the bat. For instance, one square meter would be a square, uh, which would be one meter by one meter. Because a meter is very close to the length of a yard, that's certainly going to be way too big, so we can eliminate that. For 10 square centimeters, we can think about a centimeter as being very small and approximately like this. And so if I had 10 square, well, let's just see, one, two, three, one, two, three going across, that would end up being nine square centimeters right there. And we can see that that is going to be way too small. So let's just compare these. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of quickly sketch out the approximate size of a dollar bill, something like this. And if we take our idea of this being, oh, I don't know, perhaps, maybe it's something like eight or nine centimeters. And this could perhaps be, well, let's see, perhaps, let's see, about maybe 10, maybe a little bit more, maybe 12-ish, something like that. Then what we're looking at when we're looking for area would be the product of eight times 12, if this was the case, and that would be maybe something like 96 and that would be in square centimeters. It certainly is not even close to the idea of 1,000 square centimeters. So we're going to use the 100 square centimeters as our result.